All right, everyone. Welcome back to a replay with the Rujo. We are playing on estuaries. We have a Rujo, Turpitz, Colorado, Nagato, New Orleans, Megami, York, Leander, Two Benson, Ernst Gade, uh, Shinanome, and on the enemy team there is a Rujo, Turpitz, Colorado, Nagato, Bayern, Charles Martel, uh, Megami, Belfast, Alba, Benson, Kagero, and a Mahan. And I, I have to say, I I'm. Definitely, like I said, I'm getting a little bit better with carriers, which is always a good thing. And we are playing Domination, um, and I've pushed my planes out west uh, to try to spot any destroyers. Uh, there are three destroyers on the enemy team. It does look like the enemy CV does have uh, some of his planes around, and looks like we have just spotted the enemy destroyer. Uh, the enemy Mahan. Now I am lining up the shot and I misjudge it just a tad bit, um, which is slightly unfortunate. Uh, I was hoping that he would continue forward. I do drop my torpedoes at a distance, uh, but he has enough warning that he slows up just in time to dodge the first set. So unfortunately that first drop uh, was uh, not successful. And that is unfortunate, but it looks like the enemy CV is pushing out his planes out west, and it looks like he is still stuck. Uh, as far as I can see, it looks like he still has two torpedo planes and one dive bombers. I am bringing my fighters to attack his dive bombers, and it looks like we do get a kill. It looks like the Mahan does pop back outside. Now, we have just lost one of our fighters, which is slightly unfortunate. Uh, but I am bringing in my dive bombers to try to drop on this Mahan. Uh, let's see if we can actually get a good drop. That would be fantastic. Lining up the shot, and yeah, that was a bad drop. That was a terrible drop. But I swear this game gets pretty good. Um, yeah, I, I know I'm not uh, particularly good. <laughs> I'm not particularly good uh, with dive bombing. Uh, that's definitely one skill that I need to work on, but it looks like the enemy CV is pushing up north and he has run into two or New Orleans and a Leander in Colorado. And this New Orleans is just chewing up his dive bombers and torpedo planes. I went back for his fighters and you can see that he actually does not have uh, five fighters. So he does not have the captain skill, which allows for the additional fighter and CV has just lost the entire uh all of his planes actually and we came out of that alive so thank you uh, mr new orleans he was very helpful uh with his defensive aa and that's something you really do have to be careful is the fact of higher tier aa can definitely melt your plane so you have to pick your targets very wisely and very carefully and and you have to know uh what ships have good aa versus what ships that do not now we, or at least our team, has pushed down into D and we have full control of D. We have three of our destroyers uh, all the way out east. I'm actually kind of curious. Let's quickly hop over there. Nope. There we go. Take back control of the camera. It looks like the replay is working a little bit better. We have the Benson, the God, and the Shinonome uh, way out there, uh, which is always... Was a good thing. They're they're definitely uh, pushing the enemy team back with their uh, torpedoes and their fire and their smoke screens, which is always good. So, anyways, uh, going back to our attack, we do see a lone Bayern. So I do have my torpedo planes incoming, and it looks like he is taking evasive action uh, against us. And possibly, can we get a good drop? That would be fantastic. Uh, Looks like we might be able to. Um, let's see. How many hits can we get? We need to take out this Bayern. Uh, that would be extremely helpful for our team. And, ooh, left him on about 300 health. And he unfortunately goes down. Uh, the New Orleans fire does take him out. So that's one less battleship uh, for the enemy team to have for their aid. And you can see, uh, especially right now, you can see that I'm constantly moving. I'm kind of changing position, trying to stay up with my team and allowing me to get my planes back further, or better yet, faster. Uh, than if I just stayed all the way in back and did not move. Now, the enemy Rujo is having full control 
of the eastern side and it would probably be a good idea to attack or at least better yet send out my fighters now i am drawing them back so i can restock them with my with my fighters that are in reserve and i'm gonna go ahead and see if i can drop on this mahan uh lining up the shot hitting a destroyer it can be a little bit of an issue we do land Three hits caused a fire and incapacitated two of his modules, which is always a good thing to see. But he does have da damage control up and ready, so he instantly repaired them and is able to continue on. Now, I was unfortunately the one spotting him, which does mean that he is going to slip away just for a little bit and possibly get into a better position but i do have my torpedo planes up and my fighters are coming out now one thing i will have to say is controlling all these units and i'm sure anyone that plays uh either or better yet any real-time strategy games such as uh starcraft uh probably could do a little bit better job than i can uh, but Controlling them all you always have to keep attention and especially when your planes have landed and reloaded You need to instantly get them back up in the air So in case uh, more planes are coming back you can at least have them out of the way so you can Get your dive bombers or torpedo planes uh, In to attack now we have spotted the Mahan and the enemy CV has brought in his fighter group and he does look and take the opportunity to go after my torpedo planes. So I go out ahead and divert my fighter overhead just to defend uh, against the possible attack. And here is the Colorado incoming and yeah, big, slow, clumsy battleship. But do keep in mind the uh, Colorado actually has good turning circle radius. Uh, it's a very stout little ship. Uh, which does allow it to turn up fairly quickly and fairly easily and he takes four torpedoes unfortunately for some odd reason we don't get any flooding damage from him which is unfortunate and here i am in a seriously unfair fight against this rujo his fighters are currently uh taking on mine with the assistance of all the enemy aa and i do lose all my fighters uh fortunately i still have three fighters in reserve and he is possibly or a better we are gonna have at least another fighter group out in about seven seconds now if you do lose your planes uh they will uh take longer to get back out so you don't want to allow them to uh all die it does take a lot longer and it looks like the enemy fighter uh squadron did try to uh strafe my die bombers but my die bombers have gotten through and have taken out the enemy colorado so that is kill number one and we are sitting comfortably at 60,000 points of damage and i i don't know what or how this mahan uh is able to uh get this close to this new orleans um uh, new orleans is still selling straight i'm really curious whether or not he's even focusing on but unfortunately we have just lost our new orleans uh to the enemy mahan but the enemy team is down one additional ship and hoping to get a hit on this mahan uh he is currently hiding in the smoke stream uh, don't exactly know where he might be but i'm hoping that if i oh oh there he is he is spotted he looks like he's trying to make his way back into the smoke screen and I'm gonna try to predict his path as best as I can. This is going to be a blind shot. Uh, there is the corpse of the New Orleans that is going to be in the way and our torpedoes are going out and we do get the enemy Mahan. So that is one less pesky destroyer. Now you could argue whether or not uh, that was actually a good use of my torpedo planes and I would say it was a very good use, a Mahan. Uh, is a very valuable target, especially since it is the high tier destroyer on the enemy team. Get rid of that, and that's one less nasty little destroyer to worry about. So, yes. Um, now you can see dive bombers are out, and it did take a little bit of time because now my torpedo planes are trying to land, but my dive bombers weren't out. And that's something you just have to try to get accustomed to is micromanaging 
your planes and getting them out as quick as possible uh, really does take a lot of work. Like right now, I should be getting my torpedo planes out. Um, should have that four group out right now, and it looks like I finally realized that, and I'm going to go ahead and get them out as quick as possible. Um, now there is a Charles Martel, and he is going to be my target. Uh, hopefully he does not have defensive AA. That's at least my pl at least what I'm hoping, uh, because I do know the the tier six uh, galley does have defensive AA. Now this drop is not perfect. Uh, normally you want to come along the uh, uh, better yet go along the direction of the ship so you can actually land those dive those bombs all along the ship instead of coming at an angle like I did but we do land a pretty good hit uh, we landed five bombs on him and they took pretty good damage now we are or at least our team is doing a fantastic job uh, we are sitting at 910 points to their 473 uh, we've held on to D for quite a while it looks like the enemy team have taken out a few of our ships on the eastern hand side uh, bringing in my torpedo planes, but obviously the Charles Motel is going to do his very best not to get dropped. And trying to line up a shot as best as I can. Let's see if we can land a good hit. And I think here I make a mistake. I come in a little bit too close. And I don't know if these torpedoes are going to actually activate. And the answer is no. And unfortunately, I do not get that damage. And that's another thing I need to get better at is uh, dropping the torpedo uh, torpedo down with my torpedo bombers. Oh, good lord. What am I trying to say? Trying to get better with my drops with my torpedo planes. That is what I'm trying to say. But we have won the game. So our team earned a victory, and it was a pretty decent game. Not my highest damaging game, but it was my last game with my Ruho. And it was fairly exciting, a good example on what need, I need to definitely need to improve on. Uh, we did earn second on the team with a base XP of 1,377. Our biggest damage uh, was dealt against the enemy Bayern, 33,254. Second best was that Colorado. Nice, big, clumsy ships. Uh, like those battleships but once again the Colorado does have a nice turning so radius uh, but for me he just kept selling in the straight line so that was actually really nice of him I really do appreciate that after everything was said and done 190,811 silver uh, was brought back and we are gonna go take a look at the ship and I have to say I'm actually starting to like uh, CBs a little bit more. I still uh, have a lot to learn. I'm nothing compared to uh, some top line uh, carrier players, uh, that's for sure. But I do enjoy my time and I can get very frustrated uh, sometimes. I've had battles uh, where essentially I'm carrying the team and we lose because we did not attain the objectives. And it can be very frustrating, uh, especially against American CVs uh, with their superior fighters that it can be such a pain that uh, probably this will probably be the last time um, with the Ruho you can do a carrier snipe. And I almost recommend it, uh, not all the time, but sometimes if you can get it done, it makes the battle so much easier for you, especially if it is a independence. Uh, very beneficial. So once the Ruho is fully upgraded, she has 39,600 points of health. Her armor really is not that thick. It's still fairly light. It's not a armored carrier uh, as you see later on. So you can still get citadeled uh, quite easily uh, by even high explosive uh, just depending on the shell size. So that is something to keep in mind. Uh, aircraft, you have five squadrons, uh, around four to five, depending on your captain skills. Uh, hangar capacity is 48 units. You have one squadron fighter, and this is my build, is a 122. Uh, they have 162 knots. They have 12,000, or 12,000, 1,271 points of health. Uh, there's five aircrafts per squadron, and that's, once again, due to my captain, who has the skill, which increases... Uh, the amount of fighters and dive bombers uh, within a squadron. Uh, loadout is 66, and the average damage per second is 48. Uh, torpedo bombers, there are two of them, and they have 129 knots. 
Uh, health is around 1,271. Max torpedo damage is 8,567. There are only four planes in that squadron. They have a 40 torpedo speed, 40 knots on the torpedo speed, uh, and they have a range of 2.7 kilometers. And the average back gunner, rear gunner, uh, will do around 11. So they can at least uh, help take out any uh, fighters that are chasing you, but you're probably still going to lose your torpedo planes. The dive bombers, uh, once again, you have two of them. Uh, they have 129 knots, uh, 1,271 health. There are five airplanes in this squadron. Uh, the, do uh, the bomb dispersion is 134 to 335, depending if you use the manual control, manual drop. Uh, max bomb damage is 4,600, and the rear gunner will do around 11. Now, one thing I, I would like to see is the percent on fires, because torpedo planes, it is not so much RNG-based as far as actually landing uh, the hits, and be nice to kind of know the percentage, but once again, that torpedoes are a little bit different than uh, bombs going off. I would like to know the percentage on the dive bombers uh, ability to set fire. So that would be kind of interesting. Uh, the Ruho does have secondary armaments. Uh, you have six dual. They have a range of four kilometers with a max HE shell damage of 2100 with a five second reload time. They are not too bad. They do have an 8.5% fire chance. So I, they are nice, but they're once again if someone's stupid enough to get within four kilometers, um, they're not something you're gonna see all too often. AA defense, uh, definitely a huge improvement uh, over the stock. You have eight single 25 millimeters. They have a average damage of 14 with a 3.1 kilometer. Then you have 10 triple 25 millimeter, 25 millimeter. Average damage is 61 with a 3.1 kilometer. And then you have your secondaries, which also operate as AA guns. Average damage is 61 with a 5 kilometer range. So definitely a huge improvement over the stock hole. Uh, definitely well worth the time getting that additional AA. Because uh, uh, if you are the one getting focused on, you want that additional AA to uh, assist in shooting down planes. Uh, maneuverability, uh, she is 28 knots. Uh, still a little bit faster than the independence. Uh, the rudder shift time is 9.5 seconds. So honestly, turning silver radius is pretty, it's a little bit bigger than most, uh, ships of this tier. Uh, but do keep in mind, she's a carrier and you're going to be playing her kind of in the back. Most times, um, I would recommend trying to stay up with your fleet so you can at least get your planes back a little bit quicker. Uh, but do keep in mind of your detectability range by sea, 9.6, and also by air, 7.9. Uh, because if you are seen, you will probably be shot at. So uh, be aware of possible ships that might be well within range and are able to shoot at you. So moving on to the modules uh not much has changed since i showed her off uh when i first got her uh definitely recommend getting up to the ruho c this uh increases your a, a defense as well as your health uh so very very beneficial my captain uh i'm still working on him uh once again he does have dog fighting expert which increases the fighter's ammunition as well as doing plus 10% average damage per second of fighters for each tier differences between them. Um, not something you see all too often is seeing separate tiers. Sometimes if you are uh, in a battle and you'll sometimes see a higher or lower tier, so this can prove beneficial, uh, but later on it becomes rare, very rare, I think. I've never seen high tier battles uh, with two uh, midways or two or two Hakiryu. Um, so not something you're probably going to be needing later on. I might revamp that and use that for something else. I don't know. We'll see. 
the other thing obviously is aircraft servicing expert this decreases the amount of time it takes to service your aircrafts uh, but it also gives you plus five percent to health point of carrier based aircraft so very beneficial to have this uh, highly recommend this skill uh, if you are probably almost any CV get torpedo acceleration uh, this just increases your speed but decreases your torpedo range because most times you're gonna be dropping torpedoes uh, fairly close to target that it's better off to have torpedoes that are quick and more difficult to dodge than those that are long range uh, next thing, obviously, torpedo armament expertise is very beneficial. Uh, this decreases the amount of time it takes for your torpedo bombers to get out, and most times with mine, uh, they are the first ones ready to go. Uh, then it's usually the fighters and then die bombers take the longest. Um, then the last one I did was air supremacy very beneficial gives you additional fighter and additional die bomber um, very beneficial for Japanese CV. Uh, especially since you are already uh, down a couple planes uh, compared to American CVs. So having that additional fighter is very beneficial, uh, but there's still no guarantee that you'll actually win a battle against Japanese uh, or American CVs if you are playing a Japanese CV like I am. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the like and subscribe button. You guys have a great and fantastic day. Zaijin.